Welcome to Fairy Garden Thursday. Today's video is a collab with the one and only Grandma Sandy. Go check her out. The co-host for today's video is Barb Daly, Real Life. She makes fairy gardens every Thursday and sometimes more often and even does garden tours. Go check out her channel. She lives high up in the mountains in the United States. Today's video is inspired by St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up very soon. The theme of this miniature garden is good luck and good fortune. At the entrance to the garden, we've got a grandmother frog and some lucky four leaf clovers. There's even some ladybugs that are here, there, and everywhere in this good fortune garden. There's lots of shamrocks, little pools of water here and there. And coming into the garden we have the river of good fortune. We've got a frog who's chilling in his boat. There's a few ladybugs crossing the river. And this guy over here is a river guardian. He makes sure that only creatures with good intentions enter this land of good fortune. There are river guardians throughout this little garden keeping watch over the river and keeping it safe. There's a few little ducks here and there. In the middle of this land of good fortune, we have this lucky gnome. He's the guardian of this land of good fortune. He looks after these precious stones that are absolutely steaming full of good luck. Coming this way in the land of good fortune, we have some ladybugs that are stowing away on a boat to cross the river. Another one over here and another river watcher. Coming this way, we have a sacred elephant who is being watched over by the river watcher, keeping this elephant safe. These elephants are full of so much good luck that they are precious commodities in this land of good fortune and these river security guards take their duties very seriously protecting the elephants. There is a fairy here who has been lucky enough to be invited into this world of good fortune and right behind the fairy we have a very enchanted area. This is the elephant's gathering place. There is a sacred pool right here where they drink water from. There's several elephants just hanging out here by the pool. Coming into the middle we have a sacred orchid tree. Whenever this tree blooms, luck is just spewing into the air. The flowers perfume is full of good fortune. So it draws berries and creatures from all over when this flower starts blooming and they all try to enter the land of good fortune. Coming a little further towards the back, we have a very special wishing well. There are three river security guards that keep watch over this wishing well and make sure that no harmful substances are put into the wishing well. At the back, we have the godfather of the wishing well. He grants all the wishes from fairies and other creatures that are fortunate enough to make it into this land of good fortune. This man is also in charge of the land's golden jewels located right behind him. He is the manager of these precious commodities and the monument that marks the location where these secret assets are kept. 
This man ensures that only licensed leprechauns such as this man have access to the village assets. The frog you see right here is one of the creatures who has been granted access to this land of good fortune and he's been spreading some love into the air with this lovely rock that he painted and I think his next step is trying to make his way down to the village assets because he's been eyeing that lovely crystal clean pool of water that is surrounding the assets. He just wants to go for a swim, but I'm not sure how this man is going to feel about that. We'll have to find out and see. So here's one more look at this. Land of good fortune. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and we will see you soon with another video. Bye for now.